that I know what you're going for, but man. Welcome to a very special episode of 33 of the Unmonetizables. Yes, that's right. The f- official pop. I'm fucking this up. I'm <laughs> royal. Oh my god. You want to try it again? Ba, 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 that I know what you're going for, but man. <laughs> Welcome to a very special episode 33 of The Unmonetizables, the official podcast for the Fog Chronicles, the dumbest search for intelligence. My name is Captain Privilege, and with me for no choice of their own, ah, Grandmaster Tech. <laughs> you had to pause there because uh, we've got something missing. Yeah, I, I literally rewrote that, but somehow it unwrote itself. Someone's fucking my phone. Uh, and no Dr. Darkside this week, Gary's no, Darkman. No. Uh, unfortunately, he had uh, we had hoped to get a guest on as well. But at the moment, we're actually a bit more concerned about Game Blast 19, Charity Stream, uh, on the Saturday just passed by the time you hear this. But if you're unaware, this is the only show in the galaxy that expertly dissects your primitive planet's creatable culture, a.k.a. the trending tat of the week. And can I get an F in the chat, please, Tech? An F? Reggie. Has left Nintendo. Yeah, yeah. Reggie Phil's aim. I don't know how the frack you pronounce that. I'm butchering it. Something off. Here. The CEO of Nintendo America is stepping down after 15 years. I guess he's getting replaced by Doug Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> Never do a lie. Step the. <laughs> wow! 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 Fucking, you know what I mean? Like, oh my days. So yeah, he dropped a little video just uh. Uh, the other night there. Uh, announcing that he was leaving, leaving on good terms. He's just want to go spend time with his family, fair play, his, uh, fair his play. kids and his wife and stuff. So that, that that's groovy, you know. Yeah. That's and to be fair, he was head of Nintendo for all the fifteen years. I really wasn't playing Nintendo anymore, but you know, hats off to him. Yeah, that's pretty pretty respectable. That was with the intro thing, the noise with Mario. Yeah, it was a, it was See a very very nice attempt. Okay, well, you sat and tell me there's no news this week. Do you know what I mean? Well. <laughs> it's not no news. Just with the trend. I can't believe it was the trending as much. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, because I mean, I spotted a little bit of it, but it's like. Hashtag Reggie was what? on like turn on fucking so called loyal Nintendo fans, eh? But. That's because it was nothing to do with the Switch. Well, I say, it should have just clicked <laughs> at the start and end. Like, that, that was the thing. I, I thought with the trend, they did it alone from people thinking it was a fucking direct. Yeah. Because it almost yeah. opens it like a direct, but it's just a, a mini little uh, closer. Kind of video, but it was nice. It was cute, you know. No, I like the article that basically said, "Well, you know, that's it. Bowser has uh, finally taken over." Oh, <laughs> and I'm like, snap. "All right, okay, somebody got in there." <laughs> well, what a legend, and someone whose legend will finally be honoured is the late ninth wonder of the world. I was trying to think of something wet there, but not new here. Then eh? China, WWE, China, the ninth wonder of the world. Really, Degeneration X. Jeez, did really? you learn nothing? Oh, sorry, when you were talking about wrestling, I but just used to switch off. Well, basically, long-standing bullshit with this is, uh, she pretty much got like seriously done over. Uh, she was dating Triple H at the height of Triple H, uh, uh, height of DX, Triple mm. X, that's another story. <clears throat> um, and he then left her for... Stephanie McMahon, oh. the daughter of the owner of the company. That's, this is not a storyline, by the way. This no, is actual no. behind-the-scenes what yeah, happened. Yeah. She kind of went off the rails, struggled with addiction, uh, had a lot of really weird, odd uh, vlogging-type, or you know, chat-type videos. Yeah. Uh, throwing a lot of shit. Along and obviously with some, she had uh, some yeah, interesting she, back-end videos. She, she, yeah, she'd worked in the adult business mm-hmm. for one mm-hmm. video, shall mm-hmm. we say. So it was a long-standing thing where she was not getting in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. However, yeah. there's a huge double standard there when certain other wrestlers who have done arguably a lot worse were still allowed and are still allowed in the Hall of Fame. Speaking of one, Hulk Hogan's back in WWE. <laughs> you know, yeah, uh, exactly. They had uh, the whole scandal uh, last year, a couple of years back, with a threesome between two of the guy wrestlers and a lassie wrestler. <laughs> and the guy wrestler got commissioned back because he was like tag team champion, huge. Everyone was like loving him in that. But the lassie's career was. In question well, he for just, a while. He just know, go back because it's, it's good patter for him to use in the ring, isn't it? You know? 
That's you used up your only ring joke for this entire wrestling segment now. <laughs> what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm pretty sure but, it'll come you know, up with another I, I, one. What I'm saying is, I, it's a good thing. It is a good thing because we really want to break it down. If you're, you're going to talk about progression or anyone trailblazing, China was one of the fucking ones. She was in there with the big boys, literally getting them all low blows in the middle of the stage oh. before <laughs> guys versus lassies wrestling was a thing, which is still, you know, up for for question on the on the logistics of that you know there's good arguments as to <laughs> as to why that's probably not good for the sport or for the industry but yeah uh, that comes down to a quality really doesn't it man speaking of a quality 50 cent threatened by an nypd precinct commander shoot on site was the term he used back in june when 50 was supposed to be appearing at a boxing ma- an nypd sanctioned boxing match what the fuck that means shoot on site yeah he allegedly had said to his officers yeah he's if you see him shoot on site i'm hoping <laughs> that he was talking about the cameraman yeah and that's and it they've just got they've a, just missed you know he's not used the right phrasing oh well, it's funny because <laughs> 50s probably had like a lot worse lines in his rams about cops. yeah yeah but probably to be fair uh he's uh he came out uh this is how i woke up this morning this guy, Emmanuel Gonzalez, is a dirty cop abusing his power. Nice little plug there for his show, mm, power. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the sad part is this man still has a badge and a gun. I take this threat very seriously, and I'm consulting with my legal counsel regarding my options moving forward. Now, I'm not laughing at that. I'm laughing at the the, the next sort of pictures he was posting up. I can't leave the house or sleep so traumatized just him sitting with shades on and stuff. <laughs> you know, like he's already memeing the fuck out of this. <laughs> he is already like planning his next fucking rap album about Emmanuel Gonzalez. <laughs> it's like Wesley Snipes playing uh, Simon Phoenix. He's going, oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the memes are about to roll in on something else, Gary's and Lens, as the lynching faker has been caught. Is that even a word? No, I made it up. It's probably really dodgy, but we'll probably, run with it because there's, there's this prob- motherfucker, Jussie Smollett, we're going to name that as Smollett, Mullet, has been arrested by police uh, on belief that he orchestrated a race hate crime against himself. Oh, I, I was wondering what this was about. Yeah, so he's a, a, an actor on Empire, right? Yeah. Big, huge show in the States. Yeah. And the scuttlebutt that I've been hearing is allegedly he was going to get cut. Or they were looking, his part was getting diminished, his, his pay was getting fucking down the line. So they reckon he's actually done this for clout. No, so that his stocks would fucking go up. Probably. Problem you know. was, turns out he's, his story had some huge holes in it and already folk were picking it apart. In the middle of Chicago during fucking, you know, tail end of winter, or, or just before winter, they, 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 they've uh, apparently come out in t-shirts with a noose, ready to hang him. And call him a, a bunch of you know homophobic slurs and racial slurs, then shouting this MAGA country bitch and running the fuck away. But forty five minutes later, he allegedly just started phoning his manager and still had the noose around his neck for evidence. And then when the police dove deeper, the guys who they allegedly questioned work on the show as extras <laughs> on Empire. They're like, dude, he just told us this was one of the scenes, man. Allegedly, they're coloured guys. <laughs> what? So, so he's paid two black guys to jump on shouting MAGA bitch. Allegedly, uh, we shall see. Yeah. But it's just really interesting yeah. to me because that was like, you, you've seen this, you see this type of thing happen every now and then. And I think it's one thing when these people are doing it very altruistically on the left, maybe, like, you know, there's cases of Jews literally putting swastikas outside their fucking doors and stuff. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, folk reporting fake crimes, basically. Oh, it's like, you look at it, um, like, for the 60s onward, and you always got those people that were labelled the weirdos that were like, don't listen to the media, man, they're all telling you lies. Every day, man, it's all lies. It gets really bad when society starts proving them right. Well, this is it. The, <laughs> you know, I think it's bad enough doing that, where you're tampering with the, 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 the mood. The fucking, you know, it's actually not the season to be doing it. It's not the climate yeah, yeah, to be exactly. doing this in yeah. right now. And uh, But he didn't just do that for 
that reason. He didn't do it to prove a point that the left was right. He'd done it for his own fucking claim. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He done it to bump his own stocks up. My There's God, something if even I do more this, I'll make millions. That. You know, that's yeah. it's just gross. It's just gross. F true. It is gross. But the the, the feds and the, uh, the cops seem to have swooped right in on this one. There was, there, was, there was a press conference the other day there and they were just like fucking laying it on thick. You know, but uh, <laughs> don't say thick. But nothing like skewing the public's perception of uh, for your own means. Uh, speaking of which, the adpocalypse has returned. Come on, the ad reckoning apocalypse. Really? Yeah. Did you not hear about this? So, a uh, YouTuber, <sighs> alleged YouTuber, points out there's pairs in the comments, the kids videos. And a lot of questionable kind of weird kids content, you know, kids modeling bras and fucking uh, this, bikinis and stuff. This, do, this doesn't happen but, to be links to external sites. No, no, it? no. This is on YouTube. Right. This, uh, uh, no, to be fair, he has uh, found, uh, uh, what, what he's said is he's found a way that if you get a brand new account hmm. and you click within five clicks, you can literally be in a, in a, in a closed loop of videos that are essentially just softcore child porn. That's... No, I have heard something about this. There was yeah. some somebody reporting on, basically, obviously, since the dark web has been infiltrated and, you know, nobody can really use it anymore, that mm. they've moved on to using YouTube. But I heard something about them. Them also, like, within that sort of closed loop, they were putting up links to, like, external uh, data sources where you could buy, like, God. fucking terabytes worth of data and God, shit. And I'm God. just like, what? I hadn't heard about that. But this yeah. was this one guy was pushing, and then apparently... He'd, uh, he tried to get get it on Keem, or someone mm. had tried to get it on Keemstar. Yeah. Keemstar had already said, like, a year, I'm, like, I'm not pushing this story yeah. uh, per se, but I'll, I'll, I've already spoke to YouTube about this. Yeah. Uh, they're actually assured me they're, they're on it. But this guy's well, denying so. that and continuing to push it, continuing to stream. And his argument is that, they won't deal with it and aren't going to deal with it until he gets the advertisers to pull out. And although everyone's kind of like, mm. well, bro, he, you've, you've been told, like, YouTube said they're dealing with this. Like, what's the problem? But he's still pushing it and still yeah. pushing it and trying to get his ass into the news over it, you know? Yeah. Uh, it's kind of insidious if you ask me, but Disney and Nestle are already out. So yeah. look forward to that, guys, who are... <laughs> <laughs> guys monetized. and girls and them in between who are entirely reliant on your fucking ad sense uh, I, I don't know that's a weird one because uh, it's, it's back to this argument or, or we blame the fucking tool you don't well, blame a fucking hammer yeah when someone uses the hammer wrong exactly see that, that that's but, the yeah, problem yeah you might want to fucking it's, uh, go to the people who are operating this fucking hammer building business yeah <laughs> don't, see there's a way to exactly get, get it's like it's like yet. don't blame the nook for killing thousands hundreds of thousands of people blame the people that built it well, you know, yeah, well, the people who launched go. it. There you go, I suppose. You know, it's... It's... So it does come back to YouTube then, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> well, in a way, technically, yeah, but they have provided the tool to do this, but by apparently not taking responsibility for curtailing this issue, mm. then they are advertising it, they're promoting it, in a way. Yeah, that well, that's the you guy's know? argument. Yeah. And it's, it's, I wouldn't say it's a sound one. Mm. For, for, for attack the advertisers directly and have them pulling the fuck out. Yeah. You know? The, the problem I've got for it is it's the same in everything, everything in life at the moment. It's that, it's almost that fly with the crows kind of mentality, right? It's that whole, you know, you take, you take a classroom and one little kid's been an absolute little fanny. Mm. So the teacher turns around and goes, right, because little Jacob over here's been a little dick, nobody's getting a break time today. Like, motherfucker, what? <laughs> Just kick his ass. I love how we, Jacob gets called both genitals in one sitting. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know it's a... You just call a fictitious kid a dick and a fanny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, tis the season, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, it's just a weird one because, like, his argument does kind of make sense in a way, but it's the fact that he keeps pushing this and yeah. keeps pushing it. And yeah. the way he's pushing it... It seems more for clout, and they've already went back and dug up some dodgy ass videos of him kicking mm. around in the middle of the streets, asking folk if they want to be part of his adult movie. And yeah, then they, like, they, wait, they pull up on a chick who 
well, Keen Ratings was fucking school age, but you couldn't really tell for yeah. this shitty camera shop, but they still literally just pull up on a chick in a car and be like, hey, want to be part of my adult movie? She's got the headphones out and just bails, turns the other way. <laughs> and you're kind of like, what? <laughs> like, yeah, so hashtag me two point over here gets away with this shit. Like, what's going on? Where's Gillette when you fucking need them, eh? This boy's needing me in a fucking shave, if you ask me. <laughs> did I just threaten somebody with a razor? You really did. I genuinely mean it. That sounds like that. You're starting to get one. quite brutal in your old age here. <laughs> Bloody hell. Don't say old. Right. Don't say age. That comes. That comes. That brings. That brings comes. I'm not. I'm to not, the next I'm, comes. No, of what? the ending of the segments of the news. Unless... Tech has anything to tell us for his recon? Well, let me tell you, it's been a bit dry. But <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, don't say no, dry. there's been a few things. As you know, I kind of tend to focus more on the technology side of things rather than the social, because let's face it, I am not a social butterfly. So, <laughs> <laughs> not any kind of butterfly. No. Like a bat moth. Maybe the kind of butterfly that needs to be squashed. Oh, um, don't say butter. So. Uh, the web watchdog, which apparently we have an internet watchdog, um, kind of news to us, really. Hope that's a, up its poo. Yeah, that, that's a lot. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I just got reminded of that fucking bag thing for the dogs when they're oh. walking. Oh, um, <laughs> the one you strapped to their tail. <laughs> I <hate> that one. <laughs> um, web watchdog warns over knee-jerk rules based along the regulations of social media networks. Aha, right, on so, topic. Yeah, they're basically going, well, you know what, you put all, you look what happens in society when you put a shitload of regulations on something people go bye and make their own shit um youtube for example is not an exception to that rule you know how many people did they lose to um uh what was that other one that other video vidme yeah they lost a lot of people to vidme to bitshoot to you know all the other sites that you can stream video off of um so they're basically a a lot a lot in figures to, to to us, but fucking, well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. You know, a drop in the ocean to their fucking probably, but you know, it, it's Stop. one of those things. A drop in the ocean can cause a bigger ripple, and let's face it, it's caused a massive ripple to the point where people don't trust YouTube; they just use it. You know, it's like keeping a gun in your pocket. You know, it, you might accidentally shoot yourself <laughs> in the leg with it, but. <laughs> you still got it <laughs> I don't know that was a really bad analogy but anyway um, so, so what yeah. are we going to do then that, uh, this brings it back to that to the to the curry porn stuff um, what, what's the solution here the only fucking solution is laws that, that literally say like kids can't upload well I think it's going to come to something like that kids can't upload without their parents express permission and then the channel that they have they won't be allowed to have comments because the commenters are sitting there putting timestamps in when they're fucking rolling about their arses exposed yeah. and stuff. Well, see, the annoying thing here is the fact that you could segregate them into a kid's channel and an adult's channel for YouTube. But they've right? done that. They've done that. But the problem is it doesn't work because inevitably the kids want to be in the adult channels. I mean, not just the adult channels, but... They want to see people playing the games that they play. They want to be able to join in the conversations. They want to be able to stream shit themselves and not just the other kids, to everybody. So how you know? are you uh, so, yeah, protecting them at the same time? Aye. No... The, the biggest problem is the fact that they're looking at everybody as a massive hole and they're going, right, we'll do this to protect everybody. And instead of going, right, look, you've tried protecting everybody. It does not fucking work. So how about... You try and defend everybody by being able to attack the people that are actually doing it. You know, that would make more fucking sense. Yeah, I mean, like uh, you, you got a criminal out there trying to attack people with a machete. You don't jail the twenty people around them. And there's got to be some decorum you know? for this, this fucking uploading shit. There's and got in to reality, be. like, because uh, what I'm hearing are these dodgy ass videos with kids and suggestive yeah. where there's like a fucking ASMR chick that's kicking about and she's like sixteen, but it's all really weird role play stuff she does Here's and it's fucking like it's just not it's not on man you know what I mean like, he, the, the algorithm's busy taking down fucking Pokemon players 
for Titan CP. Yeah, catch oh, Pokemon man. or something. I did shit. see that and I'm like, <laughs> what? Yeah. But, but it's not it's not yeah. catching this sort of no. fucking weird upload. Here's shit. an idea for you, YouTube. How many homeless people are in America right now? Fucking give them a job to review every <laughs> single posted video that's put up on YouTube. Don't say it. Don't say learn to code. <laughs> no. <laughs> They don't need to don't need to learn to code. They just don't like see it. when you put up a video, right? <laughs> at the moment, you can put it up and you can launch it immediately. There is one other op- there is one other option. You put in a day's processing time. You upload it. <laughs> it's processed, so but it has to get passed for reams review. Reams and reams of homeless people set up like the Matrix, forced strapped down to a fucking <laughs> chair and forced <laughs> to watch every YouTube video on a daily basis yeah, as it's uploaded. They're warm. And they're that fed, in turn, you know, the energy fueled from you know siphoned from them. I don't want to know Including where that fuel's coming from. The ah, fucking... no. I wasn't even going to go that <laughs> the far. The O2 or the CO2, just, you know, regenerate yeah, but, like, but, a, like a battery. Yeah, but seriously, though, there are a lot of people in the world that, like, could do a job like that, that yeah, maybe can't do battery. other jobs. Yeah, totally. um, well. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, um, right, what but else yeah, you got? anyway, so... Obviously, the Nintendo thing has only just now popped up. Like, popped holy up fuck, yesterday. take Keep your time. Up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <sighs> There's we know all... you've been busy moving bunks, okay? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I've got fed up in my room. Um, so there's uh, why Ninja doesn't top Twitch subs anymore? Why he doesn't talk to Twitch subs anymore? <sighs> top. top. So why he's not the top of the Twitch ah, subs anymore? fucking because, you know. Because, don't care. Because T-Fury, really? mate. Because yeah. fucking somebody else is bigger. Um, let's see. There's a... Uh, apparently the United Kingdom's 4G network is slower than most of the EU when busy. Ah, oh, sorry then. It, they said the same thing about the 3G and oh, 2G Unless they're just going to fucking networks. wrap Is this just an excuse to ram 5G to and that, that is exactly what it is you were, <coughs> I was about to say that but you got it And then Dark Side's fucking fantasy Just fry us all like fucking, <laughs> well, We're all going to get microwaved fucking... Like potatoes <laughs> <laughs> But yeah exactly That's it it's, um, that, that was it Like The second line on that article was So 5G is the answer that's no, no, it's not. No, no, <laughs> no it's no. not. Ten G is the answer. 10G, exactly. Yeah, I don't want to hear anything until we get to ten G. <laughs> uh, Trump, US shouldn't block technology. Since when has the US been blocking technology? I don't know what. Hmm. Hold on oh, a minute. Maybe he knows something we don't. Let me think about that. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't Microsoft know. Microsoft fucking slowly drip, drip, grabbing uh, it out. To yeah. Us. Could there be anything to do with the international sanctions on, like, say, China? Oh. Um, don't say China. Yeah. Well, China I know. I know she was in porn videos, but come on. Oh, come She's on. Let's be killing the dead. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it wasn't just part of his X pack, and he's he got his job back. <sighs> Um, so I'm saying, <laughs> uh, newer cars have been fitted with dog mode. This is completely what? unfair to cats and parrots what? and the random seal. You know, um, basically, when you leave your car, if you're leaving your pets in your car, right? Obviously, most people that have a brain would at least roll the window down to let some fresh air through, right? Well, this is for the people that can't be bothered remembering that they've got a pet in their car, and when they leave their car. <laughs> Either they've got a collar on, which the car recognises, and it goes, hey, there's a pet in here, and keeps the car cool, or the owner can manually switch on pet mode, which means the car is still safe and secure, but it keeps the car at a regulated temperature for animals. <laughs> is this some sort of weird segue in that you tell me you've got like a gimp in, in, in the fucking <laughs> escape shuttle? It's te- temperature controlled, yeah. Your, your own little pet. <laughs> your little pet humanoid. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the the last thing, really, there's loads of stuff, but you know, the the last one that made it to the headlines. I can't even believe this. Will quitting Instagram make me happy? This just sounds too much like the crappy tabloid shit that you get. You know, when you flick your phone open and you on like whatever browser you use, you've usually got like a little batch of crappy stories. Yeah, yeah, that's what this seems like. It's like the metro. And I'm like, hold on a minute. It's just like the metro. Yeah, it's exactly. The metro I'm like, the bus. This is. This this is the BBC. Oh God, yeah. 
just gets fucking buzzfeed. What, what are you posting, man? Like, I thought you were supposed to f- post fake news, not crap news. <laughs> 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 this isn't right. I want just my daily dose down, of fake Manny. shit. It's just watered down yeah, shit. Yeah, it's crap. Will quitting Instagram make me have... See, we have to use a term like quitting. That that assumes that you have some sort of a fucking habit. Yeah. Now, yeah. Yeah, these, these social media platforms are designed to be somewhat habitual. Yeah, exactly. In use. However, again, comes out of the tool, mate. Do you know what I mean? So you yeah, fucking, exactly. so you how you swang it? Oh, that's what I'm saying. Sorry, there is two other ones, oh, little God. short ones. He's just tacking them. I'm all just going on. Here, I'm eh? just going on. You don't have to compensate for the lack of dark side, right? I really do. It's quite quiet in here. <laughs> um, the Japanese probe touches down on an asteroid. Don't say touches down. Don't say probe. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I seen this one. I thought I thought you were going to bring this one up. To yeah, be fair. yeah, yeah. Um, uh, sure, he shot it with a bullet, apparently. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> Talk to down on asteroid and shoots it with a bullet. I was like, great, yeah, great but, Twitter, uh, thanks. That's... Yeah, th- thanks for that uh, scientific response there. Have you got the ending to it? It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a, a subterranean bullet, seismic it? detector so that it can see what the asteroid is comprised of. So the Hayabusa 2 probe descended to the Ryugu asteroid to try and collect a sample from its surface. You mean uh, the Hayabusa? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you offend by... No, I'm not even going right. to do it. Um, and the last one is... Will laboratory-grown food become the future? I oh, hope not. Good Lord, and we're talking no. about meat specifically. Oh, don't no. no. Uh yeah, the yeah. Oh, the person, um, no, uh, la- no. I think it was last year. Oh, um, algae meat. Last year they ma- they allowed a reporter in to actually eat a nugget of lab grown <laughs> chicken. <laughs> it's just like fucking book s a s m r. I don't know what it is. Say though, right? all of the words like nugget. <laughs> it's just, just like no. <laughs> don't say nugget. It's just horrible. <laughs> you, just, you just emphasize the M or the T, and it's sorted. But, and that's all. What did the reporter say? Was it good? Uh he, he apparently he like, was like, going to do the taste test. You can't yeah, just give him a bit. Yeah, no, he, you, uh, if you gave me a bit and said this was growing up lab, I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're all right, pal. He tried that, and he was, he was he basically tried to make the funny joke of taste like chicken. Oh, you know, and I'm just, uh, but it looked like he was, he was, he said that, and then he looked like he actually just kicked himself in the testicles like <laughs> mate you, you just go home that was bad nice um but yeah it was I like bet it tastes actually fuck all like chicken. yeah it was like it tastes all right but it tastes like tasteless duck it probably tastes like mcdonald's mcnuggets you know what i mean like, oh well the will be fine then They'll yeah just swallow that shit whole eh? exactly so they're they're trying to expand and see if they can actually get it into potentially any market within the next five years the only problem with it is they're going to experience a big, massive lash, uh, backlash because everybody remember the thing about growth hormones? Ooh. Well, you need growth hormones to grow meat without a brain attached to it. Oh. So, oh, yeah, so what yeah. are they going to have to put? Oh, no, don't. No. <laughs> this is like a really bad start in like a fucking but, but that's Marvel it. super villain I'm loving story. The, I'm loving the argument with this thing, though. Munch the fake meat and become fake meat boy. <laughs> fake meat boy. <laughs> I know, I am fake meat boy! Captain vegan. <laughs> and uh, right now there are about at least one vegan viewer of our channel, like, polishing that sabre. Uh, well, that sounded wrong. Um, <laughs> <laughs> polishing that sabre. <laughs> but Listen, yeah, anyway, keep your fucking, so... <laughs> keep your fucking funny 4chan chat away from me. Okay? That's dark side's thing now, he's on to that. Um, but yeah, so anyway, so we may be eating lab-grown meat in the future, but the argument is still kind of interesting because the question is, would you rather eat meat from a slaughtered animal or meat from oh, no, something that hasn't doesn't has never had a life? You're going to guilt trip me and eat, eating the stuff that's going to turn us all into fucking zombies. And that's the argument. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of fucking zombies, my recon for the week. Me and the missus privilege just battered through until dawn. Bit of an old day, but it's still a, a bad day. It's not good. It's not. It's yeah. Fun. Oh, my God. It's 50-50 because, spoilers, the multiple choice game, 
no two playthroughs will really be the same unless you fucking nailed in every choice. You make a whole bunch of choices. Oh, wait you, a minute. Sorry, is this the one yeah, with the, the, one we, the group we played, the yeah. cabin? Yeah, okay, yeah, right. And, no, and, I got yeah, you, got you, got you. you. Got interviewed yeah. uh, by that famous actor boy whose mm. name I didn't drop down because I'm an idiot. Uh, gotcha. And he's a fucking therapist and you get to pick your fears and what have you. you yeah, I man. Mean? But, <laughs> yeah, it's not... Like, I don't know. It was going really well about episode six and then people started dying but mm. then they're not dead. But then when Dingo. Yeah. It's like, so, so there's some sort of a beast crawling about. Yeah, yeah. But it seems to spread fire. But then you find out later on it's some old guy chasing it off with fire. However, yeah. there's a clear choice somewhere where it was like, what do you fear more, zombies or fucking monsters? And for some reason, I think, because we didn't want it to all be about zombies, we put in monsters. So they just mm. inje- interject it to be a Wendingo. But this only happens in, like, episode eight. They're like, it's a Wendingo! You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> then <laughs> it bites one of them. They get back into a room safe. One of them has a gun, and they realise she's been bitten. So he turns a gun on her. You're going to turn into one of them. And I'm thinking, God, that's zombies! Yeah, they're like, hot the fucking bus here. But it's okay because you chose not to shoot her and then you read the book and it turns out, you know, you can't actually get turned into it from yeah. being bit. Yeah. But, you know, other than that, it's crap. <laughs> That's good. It's a good experience. The quick time events are fun. Uh, it's Joe A. You, you've got plenty of fucking ability to play through it again, but it's just a wind man. You know the, what I mean? <laughs> the, the, only the, pro- the only problem I had with that game is it felt like trying to cross the map in Fallout 4. Well, actually, Fallout 3 comes oh, to think about I, it. You're, you know just, what I mean? you're, you're just, just walking. walking. Walking or walking. running, and it's like, oh, here's another tram going up the mountain. How many fucking trams are there to that get up this weird. damn mountain? Where is this cabin on the top of Everest? I liked... I liked it, but the, 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 the pacing was off. Yeah. And then, like I said, the expose is just kind of ramped up. And then, again, spoilers, it turns out you are actually being interviewed by the therapist, you're actually Josh, the main mm-hmm. guy whose fucking uh, sister died. Yeah. But he's insane. But you it don't really get the happened. end to that story the way we played it anyway. His brain's got squished by his dead Wendingo sister. And I d- yeah, just what? <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's no rounded end credit scene or anything. Like, literally, oh, even just a fucking radio montage of, oh, a couple of kids were far left, half and back. We all had like two fucking folk left. We kept this one guy alive the whole time. Made one choice. He fucking sacrificed himself. Just out of the blue. Just like, it was like, save him or click the light switch. Sit there going, well, the physics of this game have been bullshit. Folk have just survived every drop and every fall. Yeah. He's next to a window. Hit the light switch. It'll blow up. And then he's going to fucking throw out the window. And then, no, I just burst a crisp in front of us. Right. See, you know what, right? I really love the some of these multiple choice games because you can tell the designers have written it to go a very specific way, right? This is one of the better but, ones I felt. Aye. But, but like when they give you the choices and they're like, you know, here's a choice. You shoot them, <laughs> you let them live, or you whack them with a gun and knock them out and leave them there, right? Just say you got those three choices. Now the developers are going, yeah, we, we, we want you to just knock them out and leave them there so that later on they come back in the story. But you be the evil bastard and decide, nah, I don't want you around. I'm just going to shoot you. And then halfway through the game, what are they doing here? I just blew their brains out. I actually shot them in the head. Why are they back? Like, Oh, because if, reasons. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if that was real life, dude, you would need, like, an astral entity to come down and give you a new fucking brain. Never mind. That, like, <laughs> uh, uh, the, the shit they go through in these fucking ten episodes of this game. Yeah. I swear, and they're still just... What is going on here? The, like, <laughs> episode nine. Like, mate, you've said yeah. that ten times. You're all talking far too casually. Time's of the fucking essence here. There's Get someone the trying to murder us. Who's up for a brewski? <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, as I said, folks, we have been prepping for Game Blast 19 that will be happening uh, this Saturday just past you. And well, the past. The, the, We're coming this, to you from the past. This future past uh, present but Feel things. free to go ahead and check out what it's all about. A little more expo on that towards the end here but that about wraps it up for episode 33 of the unmonetizables podcast folks if there's any intelligent signs of life out there don't dare leave any comments below this isn't a discussion and no one cares about randoms opinions on the internet 
If you're a returning consumer of our content or a folk virgin, please consider supporting us by subscribing and leaving a rating slash review on iTunes. If you're feeling this, uh, feeling kind of frugal, give us a wee pound off you over on Patreon. Or also, 72 cents. Also, please do check out our channel, The Fault Chronicles, on YouTube. And while you're there, feel free to shoot that subscribe button on site. Oh, and hey, just to let you know, if we get up to 100 subs, you won't have to type that long-ass web address in. Ah, oh, that's true. We have we'll got our own actual... Our actual YouTube name. That goes along with yeah. our, just like our Twitch, where it's twitch.tv only... forward slash The Fault Chronicles. Yeah. That was a nice plan. Where I, I will like be that. streaming. It's quite uh, smooth. Random well intervals. Done. Don't say smooth. <laughs> Myself and Tech, however, just completed our two-hour stint for Game Blast. <laughs> a fundraising <laughs> event for the charity Special Effect, which is a UK-based charity yep. which uses video games and technology to enhance the quality of life for people with disabilities. Oh, so for it. Be sure to check that out, guys. That is, that's a pretty cool uh, yeah. deal where basically for every £100 uh, the charity makes, they can set up a custom controller for kids and, uh, uh, and adults out there who can't game essentially there's gamers who can't game there's people who can't have the same enjoyments that we can so if you're up for that man go check out what's going on over there or check out any of the random streams uh, across indie scots that will have been uh, published from friday through the sunday and uh, thanks for listening to the only podcast in the galaxy with two aliens that vaguely sound like two waynes singing share lloyd by share lloyd Disgusting. <laughs> what? Until next time. <laughs> this has been Captain Privilege and Grandmaster Tech signing off. Closing hail on frequencies, ending communications, and gonna go close my Wendingo. I'm gonna go Cheryl Lloyd all over that sub. Oh, so no. See you later. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs>